is tonight a must-win game for the mm. Panthers? Now, let me explain why I think this question is important, overused, and I don't take it serious, or I don't take it lightly. <laughs> I don't okay. take it seriously. It would be a weird way to introduce this segment. Um, I give, win games don't matter. No. <laughs> I get frustrated when somebody calls a game a must win. Yeah. And then the team loses. And then the next weekend, they're sitting there going, all right, well, here's how they can get back into the race. Mm-hmm. I'm going, wait, no, no, no. It was a must win. If you must win something, then, then right, the, if you don't win it, it's over, right? Whatever you were going for is off the table. Uh, you know, the most obvious must-win games in the history of, of sports, elimination games. You lose, you go home. It's a must-win. Other than elimination games, I think it's very difficult to earn the must-win tag. You will not hear me use it often. I am not somebody who will put must-win tags on seven consecutive weeks. Like, a must-win, unless they're, they, they're elimination games and you keep winning. Yeah. Uh, unless you're mathematically eliminated if you lose and you keep winning. Uh so this, if I say it's a must win, what I'm saying is if they lose, something is completely and totally off the table. Okay. This is a must win game for the Carolina Panthers. Tell me how. It's a must win for the 2023 Carolina Panthers to make the playoffs. Now, that's not to say that the season has no value if they lose because Frank Reich instituting the culture that he's looking for. Mm-hmm. Bryce Young developing into a future franchise cornerstone is still on the table uh a few of the young guys where are they going to fit in brian burns how much are you going to pay him there's a lot that's still on the table a lot of reasons to still want to win but if you go down oh two on your first two games both in the division and everyone else in your division is two and oh and oh by the way you're not exactly any kind of flamethrower of a team yourself yeah uh well then guess what your playoff chances are donezo. Just about. At least one in the division. Winning the division is, yeah, donezo. And I don't see <laughs> I don't see a storming from the back to, to win a wild card. It's not to say the season is a failure. I, for one, from the very beginning, have said this season's most important thing is not winning the, and making it to the playoffs. The number one most important thing for the Panthers right now is the development of Bryce Young. You can still do that. But, uh, you know, Dennis had the stat earlier. Six teams since what they've started tallying this stat. It's the current divisional system. So yeah, it's basically when the when the NFL expanded to its 32 teams that we have now, and it's the current divisional setup that we have now, which is basically 20 years ago. Since like then, there have been yeah. six teams that have lost their first two games with both those games being in the division. So you need a little uh, scheduling quirk to open yeah. with two divisional games. But six teams have lost their first two games with both of those games being being losses to divisional opponents. All of them have missed the playoffs. Mm-hmm. All of them, and I and I guarantee you, all of them didn't have everybody else in the division two and zero. Oh. Yeah. So this is, yeah, this this is a must win for the Panthers if you want to make the playoffs. It's a must win for the twenty twenty three Panthers, and I and and it's early for a must win. Yeah. You wish you had a little bit more time to ramp up to a must win to get your feet under you to get healthy for a must win, but life's not fair. Get a helmet, right? You're going to get hit. Life's not fair. Get a blanket. It's going to be cold out there. Life's not fair. You thought you were going to have a terrible division coming in, right? You thought you were going to have uh, the, the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers looking at their next quarterback in the draft. You thought you were going to have the Falcons having first-round picks all around a quarterback that couldn't get it done. You, you, you thought maybe the Saints would be getting too old and, and the coach wasn't going to last. Well, guess what? They're all 2-0. and if you lose this game, that's a, that's an if. So the Saints might not be. Uh, but as far as having a bad division, <laughs> I'll put it uh, I'll put it this way. And some of you, they're gonna have to follow along. Uh, they still might not be good teams in your division. Yeah, but they're winning. And that's kind of the point. Yeah. <laughs> right. So it is one of those more frustrating things when it's you know you're like, wait, I watched them play. They're not good. And, and you have to step back and say, well, the goal is to win football games, and they're doing it. So at least as of this moment, right, the record says they're they're decent. Baker Mayfield might not be a top-half starter in the NFL. No, he's not. He, he's played through two weeks like he's a top-half starter, right? Those both can be true. He's not a top-half starter. For two weeks, he's played like he's a top-half starter. 
for Tampa Bay. He's found Mike Evans, and he said, I'm going to throw it to you a lot. Sometimes it's that. B. John Robinson, and I, and I don't say this lightly, might be the best running back in the NFL. Definitely top three. I'm like, I've, I've watched the games. Definitely top three. And, and he's only going to get the ball more and more and more and more as they feel more comfortable getting him a, a huge workload, and, and Tyler Algier will fall a little bit into the, the further into the background. The Saints play tonight. Let's see, right, how they perform against the Panthers. I'll, I'll be more definitive about them uh, tomorrow. But if you go 0-2 against two divisional opponents and everyone else is 2-0, cards are stacked against you too aggressively. Yeah, the last thing you want to do at this point of the season, just two weeks in, is chasing. And and that's what you're going to be. You're going to be chasing throughout the whole year. And I'll use this as an analogy. My, my family, we are a pretty big golf nerds, right? So I talk okay. about this with my dad. Um, we talk about how the difference between like the top seven, eight golfers in the world and the next 30 or 40, because the next 30 or 40 can win tournaments, right? Like if you're the 35th golfer in the world, you win on the PGA Tour, nobody's jaw is on the ground. But the difference is, for the 35th golfer in the world to win a tournament, they have to play four good days. They yeah. have to be good on Thursday, good on Friday, good on Saturday, good on Sunday. For like the top seven or eight golfers in the world, they could play bad on Thursday, bad on Friday, go supernova on Saturday, and they're in the mix. Yep. Right? It, it's it, John Rahm can be like, wow, he really can't find the, the fairway off the tee. Oh, look at this. He can't putt. Then on Saturday, put it together put a 61 out there when everyone else is in the 70s and it's like oh look at that he's he's in the lead the panthers aren't that right the panthers at best right now are one of those you know top 35 golfers in the world mm -hmm. who yeah you can win the division but guess what you have to play good every month of the season you're not going to be able to dig yourself a huge hole and go supernova uh the bengals are also zero and two right and two division games right yep, two division games I look at Joe Burrow and that offense a little bit more like a, a possible supernova, right? Like they can go down 0-2. I'm not writing them off because they could they could reel off nine straight wins. And oh, look at this. They went from 0-2, and, and this is assuming Burrow's healthy, and there's big questions about that. Yeah. They went from 0-2 or they went from 1 and 3 to 10 and 3. Look at look at that. Now they're back in it. Does anyone here think the Panthers are gonna re reel off nine or ten consecutive wins? Nope. Exactly. So they need to play well, or at least in the mix first month of the season, second month of the season, third month of the season, if they're going to win their division, I don't see them having gone supernova. Uh, I don't see them going supernova at any point in time to erase an 0-2 start. Here's Frank Reich on that exact urgency of getting a win this week and week two against their divisional opponent. Yeah, it's a big deal, right? I mean, two, you start off two division games, you know, uh, obviously let week one slip away, so heightens it even more. Heightens it even more. It's our, our home opener, right? So, you know, you got to protect your home turf. So there's a lot of, lot at stake. You know, it's one game. Um, and the way to go about it is do the little things right. Have the details. Get those things right. Take care of business in that way. Quick sidebar. Did you hear all of the Aaron Rodgers fans screaming? Did he say home turf? It needs to be home grass. Get rid of the turf. <laughs> I don't disagree with that. End of the sidebar. Back to what he actually said, which which is, yeah, the urgency needs to be there, mm -hmm. right? There there are certain games that you're just like, hey, if we lose this one, our entire season is different. Our entire season is different. Our goals change. If you lose this one, guess what? You're a veteran, and I'm talking like like 28 plus, and your your contract expires after this year. You're less important. Yeah. Right, because because the goals now aren't about this year. You're less important because the young guys need to get out there, and, and we need to know what they are. What they are. Can we trust somebody who's uh, a younger guy to be a starter next year? Austin Corbett becomes less important. Brady Christensen, who, who's out with the injury for the year, all of a sudden less important. And you're more about Chandler Zavala. You're more about Cade Mays. You're more about some of these guys we're going to discuss because you need to know if they can be long-term starters. Mm -hmm. Your goals change if you lose this game. It's a must-win game for the Carolina Panthers.